Hey everyone, tech enthusiasts. Today we're diving deep into the ultimate laptop showdown, the HP Envy X360 13, the MacBook Air M1, and the Microsoft Surface Laptop 5. These three laptops represent different styles, strengths, and price points, making the decision of which one to buy a tough one. We'll break down their designs, performance displays, and more to help you decide which one is the perfect fit for your lifestyle and needs. But wait, there's more. We'll reveal the clear winner based on our in-depth testing and analysis. So stick around till the end and don't skip any part of this video. We've also included purchase links in the description below to help you start your laptop journey. Let's get started. The HP Envy X360 13 presents itself as a sleek and portable two-in-one, promising a balance of style and performance. While it certainly delivers on portability, with a slim profile and lightweight design, its overall performance falls short of expectations. Its 13.3-inch display with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio is a standout feature, offering more screen real estate than traditional 13-inch laptops. Its brightness and clarity are commendable, making it a pleasure for both work and entertainment. However, the silver-on-silver -silver keyboard lacks contrast, making it difficult to read in certain lighting conditions. The touchpad, on the other hand, is responsive and comfortable to utilize. Performance-wise, it faces challenges. The base model's 8GB of RAM is insufficient for today's demanding tasks, hindering its overall capabilities. Additionally, battery life underperforms compared to competitors. While the laptop offers a decent selection of ports, including Thunderbolt 4, the absence of an HDMI port is a notable omission. The HP Envy X360 13 is a capable 2-in-1 that offers a stylish design and a good display. However, its performance limitations and subpar battery life prevent it from truly standing out in a competitive market. If portability is your top priority, the Envy X360 13 might be worth considering, but investing a bit more for a model with more RAM and potentially a longer battery life could be a wiser choice in the long run. The MacBook Air has always been known for its sleek design and portability, but performance-wise, it often felt like a featherweight fighter in a heavyweight ring. Well, Apple just threw a knockout punch with the M1 MacBook Air, a complete overhaul powered by their new in-house M1 chip. Let's take a closer look and see if this new Air can truly soar. Forget everything you thought you knew about MacBook Air performance. The M1 chip absolutely crushes it. I tossed everything I could at this Air, from juggling a mountain of Chrome tabs to editing 4K video, and it handled everything with smooth, effortless grace. This thing is a productivity monster, putting even some MacBook Pros to shame. Apple boasts all-day battery life, and they weren't kidding. I clocked a whopping 14-plus hours on a single charge during my tests. This is a game-changer for anyone who needs a laptop that can truly last a workday or a Netflix binge without needing to be plugged in. The Retina display is gorgeous, boasting vivid colors and crisp details. It's perfect for everything from creative work to watching your favorite shows. However, the bezels surrounding the display feel a bit chunky in 2024. Come on, Apple. It's time to slim those down. Apple finally ditched the controversial butterfly keyboard and brought back the beloved Magic Keyboard. Typing feels comfortable and responsive, a welcome return to form. Finally, a decent webcam on a MacBook Air, the M1 chip's image signal processor makes you look noticeably better in video calls, a huge plus for anyone working remotely. The M1 MacBook Air sticks with just two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which feels a bit limiting. While they're versatile, some users might miss the convenience of additional options like an SD card reader or HDMI port. Most apps run flawlessly on the M1 chip, thanks to Apple's Rosetta 2 translation tool. However, some developers haven't yet released universal versions optimized for Apple Silicon, so performance might not always be perfect. The good news is that these universal versions are coming and they'll unlock the M1's full potential. The M1 opens the door to running iPhone and iPad apps on your Mac. This is a fun way to access some of your favorite mobile apps on a larger screen, although some might feel a bit clunky without a touch screen. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 5 is a classic case of iterative improvement. While it doesn't reinvent the wheel, it offers a reliable and well-rounded experience. The familiar aluminum chassis exudes a premium feel, though its design is starting to show its age compared to the sleeker, bezel-less competition. 
The laptop's standout feature is undoubtedly its keyboard. With comfortable key travel and a satisfying tactile response, it's a pleasure to type on. The spacious touchpad complements the keyboard well, offering precise navigation and smooth gestures. Performance-wise, it delivers solid results thanks to Intel's 12th generation processors. It handles everyday tasks such as web browsing, document editing, and video streaming with ease. In any case, requesting applications like video altering or gaming might thrust its limits. The display is another area where the Surface Laptop 5 holds its ground. The 3 by 2 aspect ratio is ideal for productivity, and the colors are accurate. While it lacks the vibrancy of OLED panels found in some competitors, it still provides a satisfactory visual experience. Battery life is decent, but not exceptional. You can expect to get through a full workday on a single charge, but don't anticipate heavy-duty usage without needing to recharge. The inclusion of both USB-C and USB-A ports ensures compatibility with a wide range of devices, although the absence of an HDMI port might be a drawback for some users. One of the Surface Laptop 5's biggest shortcomings is its webcam. The 720p resolution is simply not up to par with what we've come to expect from modern laptops, especially in an era of video conferencing. Additionally, the lack of significant design updates and the high price tag for premium configurations make it a less compelling option compared to some rivals. The Microsoft Surface Laptop 5 is a solid choice for users who prioritize a familiar premium design and a comfortable typing experience. It's a reliable machine for everyday tasks, but it falls short of being truly exceptional. If you're looking for cutting edge features, a more stylish design, or better value for money, you might want to explore other options in the market. So who's the clear winner? If you need a versatile laptop that can adapt to different work styles, the HP Envy X360 13 is a good option. For those seeking unmatched performance and a seamless Apple experience, the MacBook Air M1 is the clear champion. However, if you prefer a classic premium laptop with a comfortable keyboard, the Surface Laptop 5 is still a solid choice. Eventually, the finest laptop for you depends on your particular needs, budget, and inclinations. Consider your priorities and choose the laptop that aligns best with your lifestyle. Don't forget to check out the product links in the description for more details and pricing. And on the off chance that you have got any questions, take off a comment underneath. Thanks for watching.